Okay, folks, here we have Einstein's ultimate number puzzle. And I won this in a raffle yesterday. And I spent about three hours doing it. And I would just like to give you a little indication, if you might be struggling with it as I did initially, on how to get to the bottom of it. The first thing I'd like to say is that actually the clue, as you may or may not have realised, is in the description on how to do it. They're giving it away here because immediately with this in mind, especially this bit, the rotating of it, we know that the tiles are going to have to be in some sort of a pattern on the actual board to get the 264 in all directions. Now, the first thing I did was have a look at the tiles, and it didn't take me long to realise that they are sort of in pairs. And this makes sense, because obviously if we're going to have a pattern, then we're going to need matching or some sort of symmetry. So the first thing I did was to identify the pairs and if you haven't done this already, I would suggest that you do that. 68. Uh, he's not. 41, he is. Doesn't matter which way round you get him. Just find out the ones that are matching. 16. There we go. And then what you will discover is there's four tiles that aren't a pair and don't have them, they don't match anything else up. And that is your next big clue. Because, now these actually add up to 264. You might have noticed that. But it occurred to me that if we're gonna have this business of symmetry, however things go, then we're not going to have these in any one column because it's going to sort of, it's not going to give us that symmetry that we need. Not, especially not in a diagonal like that, because if we were to have the symmetry, even if we flip that side, these not corresponding with any of these are not gonna give us a pattern. The only way that we would get a pattern with four of these in a layout of 16 squares is going to be on that diagonal. Now here, if we flip this over, we're always going to have the same pattern. Consider that half of these are going to be on one side in one orientation, and half of them are going to be on the other. And that is the next clue in itself. And I realise that actually what's going to happen is, is that these are going to be this way up on one side and the other way up on the other. And it's literally going to be a mirror image. Now, the next thing that occurred to me was that if you look at these numbers, you can actually see that with each tile and each column, and this is the same for these as well, we've got a 10, a 6, an 8, and a 9. A 10, a 60, an 80, and a 90. And that will be the same for these as well. Each of these columns didn't take me long to realise that, that you're not going to have a 99 and another 99 on the same column. Another 90, sorry, because it's gonna, you're going to go over the 264. So it occurred to me pretty early on that each column and row and diagonal is going to have a 9, an 8, a 6 and a 10 in it. So that is the next point where you can start building up from. Now, I would suggest, in all honesty, that you stop the video here and you have a go yourself and see just with that information whether or not you can crack this puzzle because actually with that information alone it's relatively simple to solve it. If you're still struggling then please carry on because we're now going to have a go at putting this back together and I'm literally going to start with the highest number, 99. Now it occurred to me as well as it might have done to you that with a big number like 99 the opposite end, we're probably going to have quite a low number, like 11. More likely to have an 11 in that column with 99 than we are, say, 18 or 19. 16 even, which are quite bigger numbers in the 10s. 
So that was another thing just that I thought about for quite a while. And actually, I don't think I was far wrong. So the next step is literally going to be, let's just put some of these numbers together and see what starts coming. Now, we've got a nine here, so we're not gonna have another nine there. So perhaps we could bump that down, bump him down like that. That looks pretty good, yeah. Now here, we're gonna want an eight or this side and a six. Now we're not gonna have a six there because we've got a six here. So let's just bring any six in. Here's a 61. And let's bring that in on this line. And remember, whatever you do, you really want to immediately almost put in your duplicate. Sorry, that's not it, it's up here. On the other side, yeah. So uh, no, that's still not it. Sorry, here we are. Here's my 61, flip him over, far corner, yeah. Now, this is the point where if your mass isn't very good, you might want help, and I'll get some help just to get things moving. Now let's do 264, which is the number we know. Minus 11, minus 99, minus 61. What does that leave us with? 93, right, well that's not right then, is it? That's an odd number. So let's take him out, 99 and 66, because they're obviously not quite right. There's something wrong there. And let's try a different number. Let's try the 98 on that one. And his corresponding flipped 98, the 86. This is really the way you want to go about trying to build up the tiles, because it's the route to a success, in my opinion. 61, what's that take us? 170, 264, minus 170. Does that bring us out where we want to be? No, 94, still not quite right. The next thing you can do, actually, is if you're struggling a bit, like I am here straight away, is just bring your tiles out again. Just remember to keep that orientation right and just swap these about because it doesn't necessarily need to be one, six, eight, and nine. Anything different can happen here. So we'll just try changing it, changing around two of them. And then we're gonna have another go. I'm gonna bring that 99 back in again, actually, because I've still got a feeling about that and his corresponding 66. And then we'll bring in the, let's try something else. Let's try an 81 on there. Yeah, and an 81 up here. Yeah. And then, so what do we need here? We need a six, but hang on a minute. We're not gonna have a six on that line because there's a six there. So let's push them up again. And let's bring a six in here. Let's see what we might need. See if that works. Two seven, uh, sorry, two six four minus ninety nine minus eleven minus eighty one. Any closer? Nope. Seventy three. Definitely not the eighty one. Then. I mean, it might not be the ninety nine, but I'm not going to know until we start trying some other tiles. So let's try the eighty six and the. Sorry, it's not that one. And the eight and the sixty-eight. Is it? No, no. This is where you just have to be careful. Yeah, him. Let's try that. Well, ninety-nine. So it's one hundred and ten. Two six four minus one hundred and ten minus eighty-six. Any closer? Sixty-eight. Ah, yes. Hang on. Okay. Now we've got a sixty-eight. So let's try slipping a sixty-eight in there and his corresponding 89 up there. Now we can have a six on there because we've only got a nine in this line at the moment, the same with that. Now let's try along the top there, 66, sorry, 66 plus 89 plus 98 plus 11. Okay, now we're making some progress. So we've got that's correct, that's correct, and that's correct at the minute. Now, can we fill in any more blanks here to get where we want to be? Let's have a look. So what about, we've got 91 and a 16. We've got 81 and an 18. And we've got a 61 and a 19. Now, we've got an eight and a nine on here already. So we're not gonna have an eight and a nine in that line. So the eight's not gonna go in there. But the one could, we could have a one in there and we could have a six in here, 
Right, let's bring the other one in first before we always do the diagonal. And we could have six in there, couldn't we? Yeah. And we could have a nine. No, we don't want another nine. That's not right. Something not right with that. Hang on. No, that's not quite right because we've already got a nine in there. So we're not going to have a nine here if we do a, if we work off a diagonal. Can't put him in there. We could put him in there. That's not quite right. Something's still wrong here. Let's sort these back again. Or actually, should we we swap those already? Shouldn't didn't we? Hang on. Something wrong there. We don't want a six there. Take him out again. No, no. Back up. Back up. Let me see. What else could we bring in here? We have the one, but we can't have that one. Perhaps we could have the 16 in there. Yeah, and his corresponding nine. We can have a nine up there, can't we? Yeah, because we haven't got any nine. That looks good, that looks good. Okay, what could we bring in here? Maybe the eight goes in here. It's just more about the pattern, as I said. I'm not even doing the sums. 18. And then... 19 and a 6 in here. Right, let's see if we're there. Let's just try along the bottom here. 88 plus 61 plus 16 plus 99. Yeah, 264. That's 264. Let's, uh, so if that is... What about up here? 88... Plus 19, plus 91, plus 66, 264, yeah, let's just do random across the middle, 91, 18, plus 69, plus 86, there we go, pretty confident we know that is, because that's the one with the 11 in it, let's try across here, 66, plus 18, plus 81, plus 99, 264, there we go. Now, if we flip it over, you will see as well that nothing really changes. Everything is exactly as it was the other way up, so to speak. Just obviously mirrored the other way because we're now running this way. But it's still the same rules apply. 19 plus 96 plus 81 plus 68. 264. That is how you crack Einstein's number puzzle. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it hasn't wasted too much of your time. But if you've been struggling with it, I'm pleased to have been able to point out the solution for you. Thanks. See you again.